Alright guys, welcome to match 2 in round 2 in the World at War 2v2 Open. And we've got Catch My N versus Lobo and Lobo. On Lobo and Lobo we have J Dudes as the Commonwealth opening up with a regular squad going to the left. And on the right side we've got Booba with an Assault Squad as the Soviets. And Shata is gone Finland coming up with a Marksman Jaeger. Going to use their stamina to get to the point quicker. And a regular squad from Jutska with a nice squad leader with the Panzerfaust behind his back. So Shata will get to the point first, but no sandbags. Looks like Jadu has set up his sandbag line, or maybe just one sandbag at the top of the hill, and I'm gonna send more down below to build sandbags over here. Let's see these marksmen Jaeger open up, see how much damage they can do. They're probably one of the best marksmen in the game, other than the, I suppose, the French and the USA with rate of fire. Now let's see that. The Dalal of the squad leader from the Commonwealths. Oh, look at the Marksman Jaeger open up. Not the best accuracy at fire range. As you can see, even the squad leader of the Dalal is picking him off. Uh, does decently, but he's fleeing now with his life force to duck behind that rake. And look at that squad leader. Messed them up pretty hard. MG built the sandbag on the hill. On the other end, we see Jutska and Booba. Looks like Jutska has the has the good position now. He's built the sandbag lying on top of that hill. And Booba is withdrawing and Jutska is now capping the northern point. Whilst in the west, ooh, nice grenade from J-Dudes. Looks like uh, J-Dudes will have this. So we're here on Fields of Sherbog. Very flat map. A few hills to play around, but otherwise very flat where sandbags will be need to be built. Yes, and an interesting buy from, from shot at a BA-20 already. Just needs some line of sight running over the flag capper. But doesn't see these guys in prone yet. Waiting for line of sight, which is coming in the form of a SMG guy from Jutska on prone. Now I guess he's going to see these guys firing, but BA-20 is deciding to go the other way. No, he's going to go back to, to the action. Any counter bought as of yet. Probably an AT rifle, not yet. Don't see a counter. Just another squad out from J-Dudes. And that BA-20 is still undisputed in the field. Nice uh, rushing tactics from Shota with his second buy. Being able to get that relatively quickly from the payback loss from the Marksman squad. Grenade from Jade is going to kill his own troopers, I think. Bam! Two of them down. Oh no, just one of them. And still no counter. Where is that AT rifle? Still, yes, oh, there it is. No, still nothing. They're waiting for a vehicle, just opting to play it a bit more safer. Oh, there it is. AT rifle from the boys, Jade dudes. Let's take a shot. It's running below that hill. Oh, doesn't escape. Gets hit directly at the back. As the Finnish guy is going to run away before the engine flames and explodes in their face. Let's see if it's going to explode. And we treat with, treat it with some nice firework display very shortly. With the symbol of the Finnish. Oh, boom! <laughs> silly, silly bastards. They should have listened to me. Another elite marksman squad from Shotter. And on the left, he's got reservists as well. We have a. Oh, wow, this got Flamingo. One special point by. And a 2 to 2 from Jutska. Interesting choice. Going two light vehicles at, one, at once. The two special point of Flamingo coming at the 1 SP time. And also the 2 2 2. Both can get countered by AT. Oh, no, sorry. The 2 2 2 can get countered by an AT rifle, but not the Flamingo due to its heavier armor of the Panzer 1 variety. Now it's coming into the center. All really depends, I guess, if the boys get a side shot, which is possible. And here's the AT rifle. It may have a side shot if Shotter gets further. It's tracked it though, and that's good enough because the Flamer needs to get close to the damage. 2 to 2 is trying to take out that AT rifle. AT rifle ducking behind the sandbags. Not going to do it any good, but now it's going to crawl away below the hill and fight another day. And there goes the field of Sherbog. A light flame from that flamingo. And now it's Jutska has turned this into a brutal battlefield. There's, look at that. It's burnt some guys trying to crawl away the. Grass has uh, destroyed it. T-70 out from Booba. Should easily dispatch and should easily take the hits from either of those vehicles. But Shota hasn't uh, bought any sort of vehicle yet, so I suppose we might see something soon. Maybe a T-50, but uh, a fairly even battle though. I guess, yeah, to be honest, Finland doesn't really have something for the T-70 that can counter it outright for a while. Just cut. Now, consolidating his point. Sandbag line on the left, also and on the... On the right, and we see a shock infantry squad from Booba, Soviet kind, just not being able to approach, especially in this open field. There's no way he's going to just charge in there. It's going to waste this, watch this flamer go up in flames. I'm guessing he's just going to get shot up. The MG42 in the backfield, SDG44 in the mix, and it, oh, doesn't get exploded, but it gets shot to death. 
and that assault was doomed to failure. Whilst on the left we had the 222 rotating to the west and southern. T70 uh, would be good to now attack it, but uh, Oli got out from J Dudes as well. Interesting buy. So uh, didn't save the money for, or got more infantry, didn't save money for infantry, or sorry, didn't buy infantry or save money for a tank. I guess Booba might be doing that as he's not uh, fielding much at this stage, so perhaps he's going to save for a T34, 57 or something. When the counter comes that T70, just got doing very well to use that hill. See the very small decline you can't really see, but that T70 hasn't got a shot on that 2 to 2 right now. Uh, coming in with uh, regular squad. Oh, and a militia. Olicon now set in the position on top of the hill with the Bren. Has covered the center and now pushing up. We got Booba coming with a nice grenade. No, it doesn't look really very nice. It's a bit late. A uh, very good position. He can just camp below this hill and uh, wait for the troops to come. But uh, not pick this head up and it's dead. So once you get, but once you get the guys prone underneath, it's very hard to entrench. Um, so it's, it's easy to entrench and very hard to root out those troops. What do we have here? <coughs> An invisible buy. I think the icons just... Okay, the icons just uh, a bit far away. Oh, perhaps that's the other one. I don't know. There's one in spawn too. I guess there's two of them and yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but... Uh, he's bought the indirect fire Maxim MG. Interesting buy on this map. Not really needed because there's not much hills. 2-2 two two doing very good to stay alive so long. In the midst of the AT rifle, 20mm all gun. And the T-70 just can't can't catch that 2-2. Two two two. Crusade AA from J Dudes has been turreted but has taken out the Lati AT rifle right here from Shotter. Now needs to finish it off. J Dudes coming up with the Black Watch. Only two guys left and can potentially now grenade that Lati to to smithereens. Sniper in the backfield. Is that White Death or something else? That's a German one, I think. No, that is White Death. White Death is on the field. And should make a good impact. Just needs line of sight. White Death is that sniper without a scope. So he does need to work with a reconnaissance squad or some infantry to spot. But otherwise he has 10 plus range and double the aim shot. 250. Doing nasty business. Bit late from Jutska, uh, from Shota. I guess it's okay now since uh, they don't have the counters for it. Interesting, I think Boob has been buying. Uh, it's been a bit swapping of units around. Uh, Boob has got control of that T60. That's a T60. Well, sorry. A T70. Where's that T70? I didn't see it die. Uh, anyway, T50. Now the 222 is. Uh, decide to come again. It's possibly out of fuel by now. Good Scott rolling in now with some shotters troops. Gonna storm onto this point. All he comes really tough. Trying to fire shot the 222. Has no luck. AT rifle from JD is trying to catch up with it, but the hill is too strong, too high. White Death hasn't really made an impact as of yet. All Econ pushing back. T50 kind of chase it. SMG, 80 grenade from the SMG, we'll take it! Bam! Takes it to the T50. Shotter didn't move it fast enough. And had no line of sight, so that SMG was able to take it at T50, but... Oh, what the... Did the T50 actually take out the Olicon at, before it died? If so, very, very lucky. 14 to 4. Doing a much better job this game. J Dudes and Booba. The... Uh, I guess uh, Shota and Jutska are the allied specialists with their spam and pressure tactics. Similar to how me and Hansi used to play. Uh, not so much these days as it would be pretty lame to call what I do pressure anymore. It's uh, pretty much just uh, click a few buttons and pray. Nice job by the T60. Nice follow up by JDudes also giving line of sight for Booba and spreading out their troops further up. And White Death is forced to relocate, hasn't really made any sort of impact to the center. And indirect MGs are... I don't think Shadow doesn't know what this guy... These guys can basically be behind right this behind this hill and shoot. It's mainly for pinning down troops, not really to do that much damage. As you can see, it doesn't really do damage. It, it's, it's meant to pin them down. And it really should be behind a hill where it can fire safely without getting hit back. Crusader AA trying to take out... That 222 
collateral damage on that tractor. And White Death, uh, yeah, still, still hasn't really seen anything. Only a few kills from White Death now. Starting to make a bit of an impact. The lines have been consolidated though on both sides. Got Olicon, and on this side we've got, oh, look at those stone walls, covered with sandbags. That's a very strong position on both ends uh, on the center, on the flanks. Nice forward positioning by J-Dudes and uh, Booba on that point to, to check uh, what's coming before they get assaulted. Not very strong, but they can really see what's going on before uh, the enemy comes. A T-28E heavy attack from Shutter, interesting buy, is uh, coming up to, for the 6-pounder. But 6-pounder is confident that he'll take it out. Got Booba taking a shot. That uh, top of that T-28 is really exposed. It has been destroyed by one shot from the 6-pounder. And it's been decrewed. It can be recrewed. Shutter coming in with the Marksman, Jaeger. A lot of fire, not really that much fire actually, only that Bren machine gun that can really stop him. I think it's out of range though. No, it's not. It's not firing though. Uh, Crusader AA now fixed its turret or gun, and it's coming back, to trying to take it that 2 to 2 Not going to have much luck, perhaps, perhaps it will. It's, uh, this 2 to 2 is uh, 100 meters away, so perhaps it can't. It's got a haystack protecting it as well. Uh, the haystack, by the way, does uh, stop a lot of the kinetic energy for some reason. All the haystacks in Minor War uh, absorb a lot of damage. I don't know what it's like in real life, but in my opinion, I don't think it stops much at all. 222 finally decrewed by the T60 on the side, but still not dead. Finally explodes just because uh, invincible uh, ninja maneuverable mast, maneuverable 222, very maneuverable 222 has failed, but wow. Booba has manages, manages to take an assault on this point, regardless of the amount of troops Jutska has. Don't know how he made that uh, push, perhaps with that T60 support, did help clear out some of the MGs behind the cover. And now JDids can uh, come in and perhaps hold the point below this, below this little ridge, or further up below this other hill over here. It's always great to camp those hills, very, very easy to do. Panzer H out from Jutska. Not sure what it's trying to do. Nothing really to counter for the Panzer H. I guess it's safer from attack from the six pounder. I suppose that's the reason. So the six pounder can uh, can't penetrate like the, the G or something, but it can penetrate the hull. You know, it won't penetrate anything but the turret for the for the H. Um, so there goes a the T60 from that Lati 80 rifle from Jutska. Positioned somewhere on the hill, I don't know. And this uh, indirect fire MG not doing too much and in a dangerous position as well, easily decrewed. The support Jaegers shot off from the Lati, I believe. Right there. And Bupa relocating a six pounder. A few sneaky guys on the backfield from Jutska. And one over here, we saw SMG, one of Brandenburger in the back could be lethal in the future, markering his grenades in. And uh, we'll be able to push off Booba off the point. One partisan left to take out, unless... Uh, oh wow, Booba's actually going to... <laughs> oh wow, what a nice shot by that partisan. And just coming with the rest of his reservists. It should cap that for the meantime. Not strongly though. Crusader uh, having a good time at the moment. Hasn't been counted for a while. That Panzer H, uh, for some reason, taking its time to come up. It is coming up now from on the hill. T-28 still being repaired. And definitely wants to take out that crew AA and will at least deny him the position to hold the center with his 20 mil, which it sees now withdrawing. There's nothing stronger than the H on the field until this one, the T-3485, that H is going to struggle versus it, but it's an interesting fight because of the hill over there. The bullets will be traveling somewhat down on that T T-3485 though. Um, I believe it's not that high, so it should be okay. I don't think it'll hit the top armor. They'll hit the angled uh, angled armor. Panzer H still trying to trying to do something. Bit of pinging over here. I'm watching uh, come on mouse, okay. So that's the allies of Lobo and Lobo pinging to attack there perhaps. Panzer H 85, Panzer H trying to go for a shot on it. Crusader AA 85 hits it, but doesn't uh, but the armor deflects it. Panzer H coming for a shot again. PH cam, boom, takes, oh no, 
crew injured track though it's just going to ignore the 85 going to be going to do as much damage as he can or has it been tracked itself it has been tracked itself oh well 85 should put it away no problem easy turret main gun i believe though having a bit of trouble i think because of that t28 kind of in the way is the gun damage shotters uh, it's been given to shotter in fact they're swapping the units around for some reason and now shotter coming into the center Whilst that crew A is being repaired, not uh, firing. It's giving the infantry a bit of leeway. 85 going in for a kill. Shot perhaps. Hits the skirts of the H. I don't think the H is main gun. Don't know why it's not firing. Interesting, but nevertheless, I think the Brandenburg is coming in from the side. From Jutska. This is all going to count. This is a big money shot. It's going to decide the middle game. Boom! Has taken it out. And the tank dominant still lies with... Catch my N. As the H gets repaired, this needs to come down, put another shot into it at closer range and finish it off before it gets repaired. And also take the Crusade AA, which is being repaired as well, which it is going to take as a priority first. I suppose that's a good choice. Finish the AA, then finish the 85. Though a Comet is out already, he needs to do it quickly, perhaps. Ooh, don't know about that. I don't think he can. If he comes too close, takes up the 85. It's Definitely doomed versus the Comet. Comet going for a shot. Shot out withdrawing. Bounce on the hull for both of them. Comet for another shot. I think it's gone too too far below the hill for it to, to get hit. Rearming for the Brandenburger MG42. Sorry, that's not the Brandenburger. Something gave that MG uh, rearmament. <laughs> Direct MGs are still going on. Not sure what it's doing. Pack or oh, six pounder has been relocated to the uh, right side. The Jutska has capped it back. Has got quite a considerable force. Lati 80 rifle with the white death. And wow, uh, MG 42 on the Panzer Grenadier. Lost lots of SDG 44s as well. And we'll be able to hold this very strong. Nothing coming as of yet to take it back. Need a 20 mil of some sort or sniper. Oh, the Comet's going to do. The Comet uh, looks like it's trying to finish off the T-28. Center is now being capped by Shotter. A few guys on hold fire. As uh, Biba scouting around. But nothing really to fire when they're scouting. Crusader A is down. It seems like the center has... Yeah, it's really low on defense. Low on attacking options and low on infantry for Lobo and Lobo. But they do have the tank dominance, uh, that's about it at the moment. Oh, going to the going to the center now. Um, catch my N. 37-16 now going to the western southern. And very sparse in infantry now. Lobo and Lobo have uh, lost their momentum. They're not buying much infantry, even what they're buying now is response vehicles. Both of them just vehicles, Daimler and also T-60. Comet uh, not going to get flanked by... Well, that's just a BA-20. But both of them, I'm not sure about that buy from J-Dudes in combination with T-60. It's not needed at the moment. Only one of it's needed. Probably the T-60 was needed. Plus uh, some infantry, but I guess uh, to miss buy is now they, all they can afford is militia, it seems. The scout on the left. Another partisan squad on the left as well. And they don't know what they're seeing, but they've got a comfortable lead 37-19 to 19, against one of the favorites to take out this tournament. Panzer H now relocating to the west and southern point and will be able to take out those two light vehicles quite easily. Decent line of sight as well. Misses a shot, but they're quite fast and they may escape. Daimler may go for a 50-50. You can see it going beyond perhaps below that hill. A little decline, but nope, it's going to run away and does so quite wisely, I suppose. Let's fight another day and let the Comet take out the H. The Comet can't take the H, but that H is going to try and take another shot at the side pass. Nope gonna play safe shot of trying to shoot back for some reason it's got no chance at this range and that crusader a, a wreckage has uh, stopped that and it's tracked the panzer h and should be an easy put away for that comet unless another tank is coming at the pan oh the stud stud trying to take out the t3485 bounces 
prevaricating this useless uh, Messi Lati. It's almost indirect uh, MG. T60 gonna do a bit of a sneaky onto the southern point as JD is capping it back. 2837. <clears throat> Lana Sanidum shot at coming in. There goes that Panzer H's turret. She is it down. That's no, not down. They've changed uh <coughs> they've changed the damage messages in Minnow Wall for default. <coughs> Excuse me. I think you can only see your, your own damages, not the enemies by default now. Start aiming at something. Uh, excuse me, phone call. Mute. Uh, still taking a shot at that uh, comet. And there go. What's it aiming at? Just because indirect control. What's he trying to do? Not too sure. It's a firing at. Boom! It's, oh, it's actually taking out the T-34. It's flaming. Just gonna knows his stuff. I'm not familiar with the 105s versus T-34s, but looks like 105s wreck T-34s. Uh, shot at, has taken it back with an assault squad. T-60 at the bottom of the hill. Can't really be shot at. From the side. Lati, though, does have a sh kind of a shot. There's a bit of a hill making it a very awkward one. And I think now it's gone beyond the grasps of that Lati AT rifle. Commandos from Jutska, sorry from J Dudes. One of my favourite third tier, only because they sport the Dalar rifle and they're relatively cheap at 215 MP. Stir, backing away, not going to try the comet, or perhaps it had tried the comet, it's tracked it. Comet being used very, very cautiously at this stage, 21 minutes in, and perhaps maybe too cautiously as a tiger if they've saved for a tiger. Um, It'll be a problem. Officer out. Ooh, officer out from J from Jitska. I'll take it uh, aim over here. I've got to remember to use the officer as access in long games. Should have a bit more CP up his sleeve now. Stir going it from a shot on the comet. Let's see. Land. Boom. Does nothing. And a reserve squad from Shota. Left side, BA-20, just camp in for the meantime. And also a Lati AT rifle. He really likes these things, doesn't he? He's got one at the other end as well. Panzer H. I think it's been repaired now. Stur has taken out the six pounder over here. Not sure how he saw it. Oh, must have been the officer. The officer's definitely uh, doing some worth, especially with the white death too, once... Uh, Puts his curse over here, the White Death can just go nom 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 on everything really quickly. The officer's moving on to this side. This is the static game now where the axis will shine. Now it's going to start picking off things bit by bit. Boom! Nothing again. <laughs> Comet's definitely a tough one versus 105s. Keep that in mind. I'm really not an expert in that. I just know some tricks here and there with 105s versus uh, Panzer H's. Uh, versus uh, AVREs hitting the <clears throat> hitting the 88s or the Churchill at a certain spot. All these tricks, uh, Jutska is known for the trickster. Comet takes out the Panzer H from far, though it is repairable. You can see on the minimap it's still white, meaning it can be repaired. Though still tracked from that stir. Seems like it's uh, going to keep firing it until it does something. Perhaps it uh, will eventually destroy it. I don't think, uh, I'm not sure if the Comet can penetrate at maximum range. It's pretty much at maximum range. With the 80 millimeters of armor, no, it can't. It'll have to be a perfect straight angle and about 120, around 120 or so to kill that stuff. But I don't know what that small hill will do to the armor as well, but potentially accentuate a little bit. It's moving to the left now, that stuff. That's gonna try take a shot from here, I guess. Really focused on the main thing on the field, which is the Comet. MG42, nasty. Mows down the... Mows down Lobo and Lobo's cappers. A few more try sneak. Officer, I think, must have their line of sight directed right around here. Start struggling to, to destroy that uh, Comet, but at least keeping it uh, busy, keeping it tracked. Perpetually. Crusader AA from J Dudes. 
And interesting, Daimler buy is still there. And T60, not really going to happen on this map with a Daimler. So much uh, openness, so many things that can kill it. Lati AT rifles all over the joint. Um, and it's been taking up CP in the backfield for so long. Crusader A8. Oh, nice play by Shot. I just waltzing in there. Crusader A8 did take out the White Death though. I think it was collateral damage for some reason. I think it was shooting at that truck, so perhaps wasn't a good play. It wasn't a good play at all. That truck actually caused the death of White Death over the backfield. <laughs> That uh, absorbed a lot of damage. Shutter also with his own officer. Kind of get a better better uh, spot of line of sight perhaps now looking. Gonna go further back. Uh, Sturt is keeping that comet tracked for something. And here it comes. A t Ooh, this is a tiger. This is not the veteran tiger. This is the normal tiger because he's got the stir. And it doesn't say veteran. So this is an interesting play going to stir. Four special points, or sorry, five special points, and ignoring the veteran tiger instead of going for the MP and the veteran tiger. This calls the CT60, just been taken out of the Lati on the left. A nice shot here, waiting. Waiting, Panther H still being repaired. Shotter is keeping the pressure on onto the southern point. But let's see this tiger go against the Comet. Comet. Shooting a cheeky shot above the head, potentially just trying to kill the commander because that's the, all he can do at that range with its 77mm penetration. Tiger, easy destruction from max range on that comet, but it's a good interesting angle, almost a right angle on that comet. And we can just, uh, it is a great, it's a great angle that it's tracked in versus <laughs> the tiger to be honest. But I think that 88mm can penetrate it. it takes a one more shot, T60, uh, so T60 just take out the Lati on the left side. So Boober's having good assault on this flag and has neutralized that point. We'll be able to take it back. Just guy has been pushed off. Tiger. Thinks not sure why it's not firing back. Uh, officer. Where's the officer? That's a reconnaissance guy. He's not using his binoculars. T28 from Shotter on the southern point. A lot is going on right now. Not sure where the main thrust is. Boober. Has neutralized this. Nothing coming to take that out. Stir is going to try to take out that T60, I think. Tiger for another shot. Comet <laughs> desperately trying to do something, perhaps trying to just track it. I guess better than just die, because there's officers around everywhere. Though it's doing a, a great job deflecting the 80mm shots with this angle. No! <laughs> I jinxed it. It goes up in a ball of flame. Now tank domination has been exchanged in the center. Catch my end. Tank domination also. Um, also capping the southern point. T28. Some sneaky guys. Nothing, uh, nothing uh, too dangerous for Shotter. And should get the southern point quite easily. So 3745. Lobo and Lobo still, still, uh, <clears throat> not still. They haven't actually got, uh, got any points for a long time. The uh, initial 37 is still the same, but they've uh, managed to get 37 points against Cashman, which is quite impressive. And 45 now to catch my N. Looking to increase that lead. Reconnaissance infantry capping the center. And also an assault from Jutska. Lati 80 rifle must have taken out that T60 and is now capping back the eastern point, capping the center and also the southern has uh, quite a few of uh, Soviet partisans. It's not going to do too much, I don't think. Uh, center. <clears throat> Some reservists. Lots of fuse. Ooh, Daimler going to go for something. The Daimler, I think, has taken out the Lati AT rifle. Now it's, <laughs> it's uh, trying its hardest to survive. 76mm support gun from Shutter Tiger has taken out the Daimler finally. It's wishful thinking, I guess. Uh, but at least it's uh, not now freed up the CP command points for J-Dudes to get the payback from his units. Well, field more units now. Impressive beast on the field. I don't think it's going to be counted the entire game now. Perhaps maybe with the radio up. But we don't see much radio up in order. Word at war. It's been priced to be quite expensive, so it's not seen too often. 
And what we we got the Commonwealth and Soviets. I don't think they they no one usually buys the heavy tanks for those two nations. No one likes the IS series due to its reload rate. And no one likes the Black Prince. And Centurion is very, very rare. Perhaps a 3.7, but I don't think so because the stir is out. <coughs> and also the 76mm artillery piece and shotter. It's actually really uh, it's actually like an artillery howitzer. It's very expensive, but it shoots like artillery over over hills, like a 105, quite accurate as well. It's gonna be um, yeah, pretty much saying do not buy emplacements if you are the allies. They've got officers all around too. I'm sure they know that uh, they're being seen right now. 55 to 37. The center looks like they can't really push up with considerable force. They've got um, yeah, they've got the Stur RT Vet Tiger. They can't bring any sort of 20 mil up without getting shot and destroyed. So the only option will be the flanks right now, and they have got back the west and southern and pushing up slowly. Perhaps I'll focus definitely on the flanks right now, as the flanks are relatively weak at this stage. With just infantry, I think you can just overwhelm those points, to be honest. And we've got the Crusader AA, and they're going to the left. Cromwell 95mm on the field. Going to struggle to make an impact on this map because of the Tiger, and there isn't much hills, perhaps even this hill. The Tiger actually can probably shoot from that high hill over this one and take out the Cromwell 95 not the best choice, I think, unless you are on the other side of the map. This side has minimal cover for a, a decently high-profile tank. Not much, uh, <clears throat> not much approach uh, for Lobo and Lobo. They do have a considerable force, though, on the western south. Shut up. Shooting his artillery. Sniper, though is out. Is that the normal sniper or is that white death? I don't know. Nice shot from that 76mm support gun. Stir from Jutska wanting to play as well. Officer from Shotter trying to find the rest of the troops. In DC now looking at uh, trying to find targets for the 76mm perhaps. In the backfield. Oh, BS3. Now that's going to struggle. So it looks like Booba's going to try to bring it up to the top of this hill. Get some sort of flank shot, but no, it's way too far, really. You have to bring it up right here. It's got to, by the time the Tiger gets close enough, or if it even comes here, the BS3 will definitely be spotted with all these officers. Crusader A moving now, perhaps, to the right. Cromwell also moving to the right as well. Um, interesting play. Perhaps this hill actually has okay for the Cromwell. This hill will be okay for the Cromwell. Start peppering, or peppering away over this side. Maybe, yeah, really have to ignore the center right now, which is ignoring the veteran tiger. Plus all those artillery pieces at the top of the hill. Now BS3 <laughs> being uh, detached over here just so it wouldn't make, uh, wouldn't uh, be seen, I guess, with the tractor towing it. Uh, use the bushes to push up into position. And it, uh, See, doing too much. Red and Tiger's placed very safely behind the hill as well. Very far away, and there's nothing that BS3 can do. Unless it goes all the way to here. Walks up behind this house and goes, surprise, bam! But that's, uh, I don't know if it's a ninja one, but no, it's not a ninja one. Straight away, I guess, Charter saw it with the officer. And the 76mm. Oh, what? It's not 76mm. He's got another artillery piece. Ooh, he's got the 152. Is it the veteran arty? Is it the veteran arty or the pin prick? Oh, hang on. If I go to Finland, they've got two. They've got veteran. Yeah, it's the veteran arty. You can see it on a timer, and he's got the white. I'm pretty sure he bought the white death in direct, indirect. So it's not pin prick shooting, which is pretty much a ginormous shell. It's the veteran arty when you fire in one location. Um, it's not that accurate. They keep firing at the same area. It becomes very accurate up to, I think, to second salvo. It's almost going to hit always. And it also has AP shells. Learning its HE now. Now, focusing on this area. Uh, perhaps we'll need to go for the Crusader AA. No, perhaps we'll need to go for the flag. Finland designed by the Finnish to be an artillery nation. Apparently they 
had pretty good accurate artillery in the war. And it's firing now, back onto the left side, at what? Hmm, not sure what it's doing, it's trying to finish up the T-28 perhaps. But uh, not, uh, pretty, a pretty wasted salvo. Takes out uh, one guy. And uh, definitely getting to the point uh, where Lobo and Lobo are struggling to find. Oh, they've actually got the flag majority now, 40 to 74. They've capped back the Northern Eastern, but uh, I don't know for how long. Stuh takes out three SAS. That was the elite marksman. I've only, only saw the Enfields firing. But uh, he's trying to spread out below the hill. A very weak hold, um, I think, as snipers relocated from Jutska, veteran sniper. Just get a few more guys back in to retake this point. Reinforcements coming. Definitely low on CP. Low on MP as well. You can see Jutska's MP is 23. High on CP, actually. Uh, yes, they're actually all low on CP. Jutska and Shota spending to their... to their potential. And Booba, wow, not really. 700 and 200 left. So Booba has, does have quite a bit of MP and could potentially spam his way onto the side and push up. That's the problem like, uh, right now with the Axis is the MP. And also the CP. They've got so many heavy units on the field and that's their weakness right now, to be honest. Um, and that's how Booba and Jaded's Lobo and Lobo can win with just spamming the infantry, just get the numbers on them. As infantry wins the engagements uh, most of the time if you especially if they don't have a 20 millimeter and i don't see them buying one with that much money up their sleeve and the cp yes, they can have dominance on one side on the flanks and force some of these uh some of these units in the center to split up 4974 here comes more reinforcements partisans coming in oh cromwell is getting targeted at by the artillery Taking a shot, takes the veteran sniper. And they've got now a lot of troops here. Stuh returning the favor, only takes out partisans. Reconnaissance sniper is doing okay. Doing okay. I guess, I wonder if the veteran, the reconnaissance sniper one shots reservists, conscripts. Perhaps it does. Boom. <laughs> no more reconnaissance sniper. 95. Is the definitely being tasked the sniper killing role? Shota, no Shota Jutska. You can tell it's Jutska because he has that troll face. What? Given to Shota though. Interesting. These guys like to swap the units around. Sharing is caring, they say. And definitely sharing things. Some more partisans from Booba. <clears throat> Looks like he spent up though. I don't know what he spent it on. Oh, nasty! The stir at the other end has one shot. Not sure if it's one shot, but it's the first shot I saw from the stir. Has taken out the Cromwell 95. Disastrous. <laughs> that was pretty much their only moneymaker unit on the field, and oh, veteran Arty. But really, veteran Arty, one shell needs to take it a squad plus change to be worth it per salvo. A normal squad that is, not a partisan squad, so... Regardless, um, it did something better than its other first shot. Other, sorry, other shot on the southern and western point. Coming in now with uh, more partisans. But now, facing off a more... bigger squad with the MG42. Gonna try to get into the sandbag line. And once it's there... It's going to be a force to be reckoned with, as there's only infantry in the area. It really doesn't have a shot. There's nothing coming up. But it's a very strange hill right here, protecting all these guys from being fired upon. Grenade. One here. <laughs> Both of them trying to throw grenades into the ditch. Tiger is moving up to this point, going to try support from the top of the hill. They're totally obliterated now in scores. In terms of the kills, Catch My End has uh, 
been doing a great job and is dictating the play right now. Really making it hard for Lobo and Lobo to do much. Playing the <coughs> playing this slow, cautious game, or slow but short game. <laughs> Sneaky guy. No luck. Disintegrated by the tiger. And now Jutska is capping this point and uh, Tiger is now sitting on it. We'll make it much harder now for him to approach. Finishes off the Crusader as well. And looks good for... Looks good. We'll catch my end. <clears throat> oh wow, the momentarily boober. Desperation cap in the center. Um, but uh, I think, yeah, they've really lost all the units to do anything. All they have is infantry. And um, eventually, slowly, <coughs> they can they can pressure the captains here and there due to the limited infantry that the Axis can field. They may get the point back, but they'll be just knocked off the point really easily once they know they're there with all the firepower they have, artillery and everything and whatnot. Reservist, boom! Support gun even used to just take out one SMG walking to the flag. T-34, 57 in the center. That's a pretty big buy from Booba. That's probably what he spent his last monies on. Not sure about that. Unless it can go YOLO, perhaps. Tiger has been taken off the... It's, uh... Center. Taken off the center, so it could assault that with infantry. And take out everything else that's in that position, perhaps. And perhaps the only option right now. Is that super, super YOLO by Booba. Center not being capped though. What's going on with this reservist? Is this replay bugged or something? Reservist is a. Uh... Oh no, don't tell me when I swap. Uh... No, is that still moving? Just because moving? But his shots are moving. I was moving the 76 support gun, but this guy is bugged. No, <laughs> it's definitely bugged. No one's capping the center flag. It's weird. Oh, Jaded is. I don't think Shutter would have sent this 76mm out here. Maybe it was a bit of accident. A bit of lag. Oh no, don't tell me it's a bug. It, uh, for, to me, it does seem like a bug that uh, he sent it this close. <coughs> or some sort of lag. Hopefully not. 74 61. Not sure what they're doing. Can kind of waltz in there if they want to. Coming with a T20. That's the tow for that truck. But uh, not capping the center for some reason. More infantry from J Dudes. Booba there. Hasn't been moving much either. Trying to sneak on J Dudes onto the right. There's something wrong with. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry guys, I think something wrong might be wrong with Booba and J Dudes. Sorry, Shutter and. Oh wow, maybe not. <laughs> He's uh, shooting and stuff. Booba. Now Booba's going to the left. His 57 is quite static. Um, for you guys who don't know, back in the days there was a bug in replays at, um, with the program with um, Minerval. Where if you swap spectators, the replay was not what happened. Like things would freeze, units would be going in the wrong places. But that was fixed quite a while ago, and I was just afraid it's coming back. I just got tra trauma from all the times it's happened to me in the past. Um, but I think it's okay this time. Shotter now going to cap that flag. Not sure why he took us a while, taking his time, maybe trolling a bit. 76 coming in so close for some reason. Perhaps he knows, I guess they know that they don't have any MP at all, whatsoever. The M grenade rifle, boom, misses its mark. Officer, doing a bit of spotting, just go with a flamer coming in. Boom, misses. Oh, here comes a 57, Assault YOLO, let's see what it can do. SMG Grenade gets taken out. A lot of troops are over here. T-50 gonna try and machine gun them down. I'm looking for a HE shell on them. No, it's gonna just hit try, and misses the shot. No, use this using its MG. SMG in the way. 
Oh no, another one from the side. Oh, Molotov. MG, another one from the back. Oh, just a rifle. No, it's an SMG. But no grenades left. It's a bit hard though with the finished grenades too because they do um, do count down when thrown. They don't explode on the impact. 76 trying to take a shot. It's going to get run over perhaps. Flames run from Jutsuke may get some work. I'm going to go to the side. Can it run away in time? It's, it may have a side shot. Oh, it doesn't matter. Tiger has taken it out, I think. Taking out something. The Well, no, it's just taking out the crew perhaps and the turret maybe. Turret's uh, awkwardly facing backwards for some reason. 76 misses, hits the tree. And 57 may live to fight another day running back. Perhaps all the way back here to get repaired. 76 misses the shot again. <clears throat> it's just going to is capping with the flamethrower infantry. Center going to see an assault from some partisans. 76 and artillery pieces most likely going to be trained on here. One misses the stir, perhaps it misses. I think it was stir that missed. And a few more shots coming from the other RTs. Flamethrower, unfortunately, is not ready. <laughs> and uh, gets destroyed. Oh, another one here from Jitska. Oh, that was the supporting retreat. <laughs> Didn't do too well. Got picked. But look at the RT. Has cleared off the point almost. <clears throat> 57 is still got his engine going, he's just trying to get off the map. I want to go home! Yes, sir. Uh, 76, um, yes, gonna take sir. a shot at the guys in the trenches perhaps. Bit of an overkill, but uh, do what you can do. Boom! One guy left. To cap the point, it's gonna be a slow death I think. Single SMGs, <clears throat> single forces, reinforcing the positions on the side. And they should get the point. There's still, still not enough in between the center there to cap it for good. The tractor is doing okay to hold. Using the guys with no ammunition to start capping. But nothing else. And why is Shadow sending this 76 even closer? Bizarre. Right even point blank in this fighter <clears throat> I wonder if this really happened. 7461. I'm not liking the length of this game. It's going to take me and my Australian internet two days to upload this. Flamethrower from Jiska. <clears throat> Majority of cap into their into their hands. 75-61. And looking for a knockout blow here. OT 130 from Shutter. Flamethrower tank. I hear an AT rifle though. Yep, the boys is here. Shutter does know it and he's backing away. Needs to take this out first. They will hold just because that AT rifle was here. Though, they do have a half track as well. The 50 cal can take out the OT at close range. Now, Tiger from Jutska rolling in. They're really low on MP right now. You're throwing the kitchen sink. Every unit's counting at this stage. Both teams, no MP. Even the officer's coming in for some reason. So, uh, doesn't want to use its binoculars. He wants to use its. Uh, I want to see with my own eyes. Not through the lens of the binoculars. That's <laughs> gonna kill himself. What's he doing? Forever them. Bum -bum. <laughs> what is he doing? <clears throat> Probably yeah, by accident he thought that's, that was a normal infantry or something, like a tank crew. <clears throat> Boys, misses the shot. Misses again. And all this time, um, diverting the attention away from the center. Oh, it's doing well using T28 as cover. And now we'll probably try flame over this tank. Oh, now the AT rifle has been forced to the point now. Weaving away around the T, sorry, T28. Now going to take a shot at the t um, OT-130. No go. Reversing back in, waiting for the infantry up. But here comes the boys with a shot on the rear of the OT. 
misses once again. Not having much luck. Oh, Tiger trying to take out that AT rifle. Reservists are coming in from Shotter. At the same time though we have Booba <coughs> coming on this point. Oh, MG42 may mow them down. But awkward heal, remember? Awkward heal we could use to start capping which you this waltz is also in MG42 is powerless. And um yeah, you might get that point. Oh, artillery hits his own troops, Shutter. And Jaded is holding. Jaded and Booba are holding this point for now. Still. Oh! Tiger takes out the Piat. Center still into Catchman's. Catchman's uh, grasp. Though this flag, not really. Can cap this back any time now. This 57 is still not being repaired. Still trying to flee the battle. Ninety to sixty-one, taking their time at the moment. Uh, not capping yet. Uh, in danger again, though. OT one thirty coming in. Turning out to, uh, this game turned out to be a massive slugfest. That uh, at the end. No one could, I guess the Axis didn't uh, try to pressure, but just couldn't, I guess. They, they didn't do it on purpose. It's just hard to pressure all points with all these units. And uh, Lobo and Lobo just didn't have the goods, the units, to really attack any point strong. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> now attempting again on the center. But uh, this time, guarded with a lot more infantry than before. In vain, 96 to 61. 52 minute game. I say it's gonna be, um, no, sorry, I say well done to, to be honest, they could really cap that back. At this point, is now in jeopardy, definitely gonna be taken back. And I think that's Lobo and Lobo is going to go to the lower bracket. So losing the first game very easily, uh, this one definitely showed their worth and potentially will will uh, upset someone in the or do well in the lower bracket still have a chance in the tournament for you Lobo and Lobo fans catch my ends through and they shall meet Kangaroo and Wallaby boom at least they get that at the end good game guys 100 to 61 and the points are still ticking even though it's 100 to 61 I am not going to swap a team ever again in the replay because this should not happen. Game draw? What? No. Something was bugged, guys. Okay, I think towards the end there's some bug happened. So anyway, sorry guys. I will not change the teams again. GG.